Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Wisdom. I'm Misty Cassandria. We're wrapping up our discussion of the lifeline. In this example, we see a lifeline ending near the wrist. It says base of the lifeline, okay, right here. And when we have that, it's serving as an anchor. It's showing how fixed in place the person is. When the line curls deep into the palm ball, the person will be strongly fixed with a sense of permanence. Often such people are unwilling to travel and remain close to their background and family. Where this part of the line is missing, that is continue to wrap around, not merely broken off, they can be prone to be transient and not bound to any one place. Invariably, they're permanently spaced out and impractical, unable to stick to, for example, an exercise class or fix the car. But they are keen to investigate past lives and higher planes. Let's move on. Here we have an example of a travel line for the active hand and the fork if it's on the passion line. All right? Now, when you see this line, these line, this line here, it indicates a desire for travel and change. If this had been an earth style hand or earth type hand, this may merely mean a member of a local organization. There's always adventurousness about people with such a life. Now, getting to a fork, we have to focus on the passive hand. A fork here, if present on the passive hand, gives both homing instinct, wanting to be around home, and travel urge. Where you have a curled in root on the passive hand and a travel line on the active hand, you have someone who will make a comfortable home on a caravan or a holiday place. Okay, we leave this one. All right, we go on to the next one. Here we have small lines rising up, and here we have lines moving from the lifeline, but they're dropping off. What does that mean? Small lines leading up or off the lifeline, reaching toward Jupiter Mount, show new beginnings, like new shoots of growth. These are positive events. For example, a new job, a new diet, a child, or promotion. Now, this part, lines that drop off. The main line, which is the lifeline, of course, are draining energy, indicating restlessness and the need for change and dissatisfaction. So it's always good to have the lines moving up. Going on to the next one. Here we have lines inside the lifeline and they're running parallel. So when they're we have lines that run parallel to the lifeline and within the lifeline are supports and structures. There are usually quite a few of these lines. They're rather like little props that sustain us through life. Long-term friendships, like your brother and sisters, husbands, wives, and close friends, even pets. Invariably, identical twins will have a single, very long line parallel to their lifeline. Okay? We live, leave this one. And what we have here, I want you to notice at this point, Here's an example of the lifeline starting high, high. It begins high up here, all right? So here's a Jupiter mount, or near the, uh, the index finger. This shows an ambitious, striving nature, particularly if there are little lines shooting upward here. Now, the person does not have any lines going up, but he certainly has that. So 
that takes care of him being what I said he was. Okay, let's go on to our next example. Here we have two examples on this. We're looking at the wide sweep, and we're looking at the lifeline that wants to go into on the lunar mount. So let's take the wide, wide sweep. When we have a wide sweep, we really have someone who is outgoing and extrovert. Someone who takes part and active part in the conversation. So that's a good thing in taking this last one. All right. If the whole lifeline comes in here, not a piece of it, the whole, it's like a root wandering into the next field. The person will be highly mobile and adventurous, always looking to belong. They'll forever search for their roots. And for them, life is truly a journey. Such people are very likely to immigrate. Okay? This ends our discussion of the lifeline. The only time we'll talk about it again, unless we're analyzing a hand, will be to point out some markings or signs that are found on the lifeline or near the lifeline. Well, give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Welcome to all new subscribers. Happy to have you here. Have a great day. Love yourself. Love and light. Bye.